Do you also associate flowers with beauty and sweet fragrance? Then you are not alone. But did you know that although almost all flowers are beautiful with vibrant colors, some are gigantic and smell foul? Yes, you heard me right. Discovered by Italian botanist Eduardo Beccari in 1878 in Sumatra, Indonesia, Titan Arum has biggest unbranched inflorescence in plant kingdom. It is considered world's largest flower. You might wonder what is inflorescence. It is a cluster of flowers on a branch or a system of branches. Bakari was astonished by the sheer size and unusual characteristics of this plant, which continues to captivate botanists and plant enthusiasts around the world. Although this plant is native to the tropical rainforests of Sumatra, Indonesia, it was introduced to Western horticulture by the Royal Botanic Gardens, Kew, in England in the late 19th century. And the first documented bloom of Titan Arum in cultivation occurred at Hugh Gardens in 1889, sparking widespread public interest. The Titan Arum, being largest unbranched inflorescence in the plant kingdom, can reach heights of over 10 feet and diameter of up to 5 feet, and it can weigh up to 170 pounds. The flower has two main parts, a tall central spike called the spadix and a large petal-like outer part called the spathe. The spathe is green on the outside and deep red or maroon on the inside which mimics the color of flesh. Scientific name of Titan Arum is Amorphophilus titanum and it smells like rotting flesh and vacuous of it characteristic smell. It is also named corpse flower. Chemically, the scent is a combination of dimethyl trisulfide, isovaleric acid, dimethyl disulfide, benzyl alcohol, indole, and trimethylamine and this particular odor attracts carrion beetles and flesh ephelis. The scent lasts for a few hours and is often strongest in the wee hours of the morning. The odor is produced by the spadix and can be detected by pollinators up to an acre away, but is not overpowering. They bloom at night and it is because carrion beetles and flesh ephelis are active and calling about. It's possible that night breezes could also play a role carrying the scent farther into the canopy at night. Inside the tightly wrapped spathe, the plant uses stored energy from the corm to heat up internally to more than 98 degrees Fahrenheit. The area of the spadix that is smelly, the appendix, is above all of the flowers both male and female and is the part that sticks out of the spathe before it opens. The plant generally blooms for 24 to 36 hours. After the spathe opens fully, the bloom usually lasts until the following afternoon, or in some cases, the following morning. This short blooming period is one of the reasons why witnessing the bloom is such a rare and special event. If pollinated, it will produce fruit for the next nine months. Yellow fruit starts to form four to seven or more weeks after pollination and continues to ripen for several more months. Roughly nine months after pollination, the fruit has darkened to a bright red and is ready to be harvested. The fruits are olive-shaped, red-orange berries, much liked by rhinoceros hornbill's birds, which feast on them, thus spreading the seeds around their native rainforest habitat. Most fruits have two seeds in them. The seed will germinate and grow into a small leaf with an underground tuber, similar to a potato. After 12 to 18 months, the above ground leaf will die back and the plant will be in dormancy for three to six months. When a new bud appears, the emerging leaf will be larger than the previous leaf. Meanwhile, the tuber, which is also called corn below ground, continues to grow larger also. The plant produces a single leaf that can reach 20 feet tall and 15 feet across with a petiole as thick as a person's thigh. But all looks like tree trunk. The single leaf will grow for about 12 to 18 months and look almost tree-like. On the rare occasion, instead of a leaf emerging from the dormant tuber, a bloom emerges instead. Typically, the plant needs to be at least 7 to 10 years old and the tuber at least 35 pounds in weight before it will bloom. Tuber can grow up to 200 pounds in weight. Despite its amazing adaptations, the Titan Arum is threatened by habitat loss, deforestation in Sumatra for agriculture and development, and land degradation is destroying the specific environment it needs to survive. Without its natural habitat, the plant's future is at risk. This is complete life cycle of iconic Titan Arum, also known as corpse flower. I hope you enjoyed it. Hey, don't forget to subscribe. See you in next video.